Assalamu alaikum everybody, this is Ali Shanmo and welcome to more Toy Grade RC Quadcopter with cameras reviews. Today we are outside here with the SEMA X5SW Quadcopter with camera and Wi-Fi video transmission. That means it can transmit videos from the camera to your smartphone, Android phone or iPhones. And uh, using that Wi-Fi transmission, you can fly FPV to a certain range whatever the Wi-Fi range allows you so let's take it outside the box and see what's inside the box and then we will set it up and give it a flight right here and we will see if this beats uh, nine eagles galaxy visitor 6 or not because that quadcopter was pretty cool actually with its Wi-Fi transmission and very less um, delay in Wi-Fi transmission so let's see if uh, SEMA X5SW is any good or not before we proceed let's uh, take a look at the box it says Wi-Fi real-time video transmission uh, it's a 315 mm um, quadcopter 315 not 50 15 mm quadcopter and uses a 3.7 volt 500 mAh battery that's pretty small battery I don't know what flight time we will get on it uh, in case you're wondering where to download the application for your iPhone on Android just to scan the QR code and you will be able to download the application for your phone uh, respective phone smartphone uh, here it says uh, 360 degree version once again that same flip thing six axis gyro system two megapixels camera uh, Nowadays all of these say two megapixel five megapixel but yesterday with the uh, JJRC X6 even a five megapixel camera has totally disappointed me Anyway, we will see how good is this camera on SEMA X5 SW and we have a 2.4 GSD control and Wi-Fi video transmission All right now it's time to let out of the box Here we are inside the box you have a radio they don't give you two batteries they don't give you two batteries but i'm lucky enough to get two batteries i don't know why then we have a wi-fi transmission camera module we have um what is that a propeller extra propellers and accessories and sema s x5 sw quadcopter and a little radio system on the back we also have the propeller guards on the back um well not on the back inside the box we have uh cell phone or smartphone mount for the radio then we have a landing gear and a screwdriver 2d 4d orange color and a user manual now at home i have downloaded the application already on my android phone so let's set this quadcopter up and start flying right away uh, today is a little windy let's see if this handles the wind outdoors or not all right here we are with the sema x5 sw ready in my hand this is really really light i mean when i'm holding it i feels like there's no weight at all in this thing so i'm actually worried about how it will behave in um in small winds right here so first thing we're going to install the camera it's very simple it goes in here just like this and then you plug this little plug right at the given port that's it okay now one thing that i was wondering and you might be wondering as well when i look at the camera and i'm looking at it very very carefully you can look at it too forward right backward left you will notice there is no slot for any tf card or any memory card on it so how are you gonna store the pictures record the videos and later view your pictures and videos that's a nice question da of course that means it it has to do something with your smartphone so wi-fi transmission sending all the images and videos to your smartphone so there must be a way on your smartphone to directly record the videos and the pictures right there on your smartphone so let's turn it on and turn on my android phone as well and see what the application has to offer but before that you might want to know how you put the smartphone on your radio so take the supplied holder put it right there on the antenna and uh, I am the holder I'll hold the hole 
So, well, here we go. Open its mouth and it holds the phone right there. Hmm, pretty good angle too. Okay, so let's turn on the quadcopter, run the application, and let me give you a look at the application and its features. Okay, here we are. Quadcopter is turned on. Radio is powered on. You can check. Propellers are working. Okay. Now we go to our uh, Android phone. Go to the settings. Go to your Wi-Fi. Make sure to turn the Wi-Fi on, and then you will find one FPV Wi-Fi CAB Cap Zero. Okay. Connect to this one. Okay, and then of course, if you have installed the uh, application for SEMA FPV, run it and say start. And there you are. Now, the thing is to check the delay. Here's my hand. I hope you can see my hand and image as well on the phone. So, one, two, one, two. Let me put the camera here. All right, I hope you can see the image. Okay, this is my hand. And so you can see the delay. Okay, at times the delay gets uh, shorter and sometimes the delay gets longer. I think it depends upon how the Wi Fi transmission is working. Anyway, you don't want to fly total FPV by looking at it because your quadcopter will hit a tree or wall first and you will see it later there. Now let's take a picture. All right, so I have set the quadcopter at an angle <laughs> of the tripod and uh, let's take a picture. Click. Unfortunately, SEMA FPV has stopped, okay. So picture failed, video. Now it says it's starting the video and we have a very noisy motorbike going around. And uh, stop the video again, all right? Let's, <laughs> it's motorbike is really noisy. Let's uh, try to get a picture again. Oh, it says save successfully, all right? Okay, so now I go to the folder and see the picture using gallery just once aha so we have a picture now we have to see how good is the picture once we go on the computer and I put it in video editing software okay and then we go to okay I just not not don't delete it and then we go to video and play back the video oh there goes the motorbike you can see that all right, so this thing is working. Now, let's just start flying, shall we? Whoa, whoa, no, 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 come on here, baby. You can do it, it's on full mode, full speed mode, and the wind from forward is just killing it. There it goes, come back baby. So, it's really a lot of wind for this little baby to handle, even on a full mode. Second attempt, start video right here and take off from my car. I'll try to fly around here so the wind will not bother us a lot. Take a shot of the dust bin. Flight-wise, she is doing really nice. Very stable quadcopter. Okay, wind come again. Come on down from the bottom. Yeah, fly low and it will handle the wind because on higher altitudes the wind is much more.
there it goes again come on you can do it that's the full angle of attack mode you can see my sticks are pushed all the way forward so let's see if we are flying with FPV what happens when you hit so hopefully it's shooting here all right and you're getting very close to the plants and you see the quadcopter actually hit before i could see it so once again yes very stable quadcopter but as i said uh it's very very lightweight so it's really easily affected by the winds other quadcopters flew very well in this wind but sema x5 sw seems to be having a little bit trouble fighting the winds if i go real high i think it will just fly away with the wind so let's go a little higher here i think now the wind stops so we can go a little more higher and get a good shot all right let's take a shot of murano's uh, boots with my quadcopters sitting there and a wl toy boat ofm swift tr260 fpv racing tilt rotor quadcopter what's wrong with you sima why are you trying to kill me i think we are dying on the battery now the lights are blinking that means possibly the batteries are dying let me change the battery all right let's change the battery hold on first uh stop recording power off and get your battery out so the flight time is really very very disappointing on this one however it's handling the wind a bit better than i expected okay turn on let's wait for the wi-fi now in the meantime when the wi-fi is connecting we can look at the pictures so this is the picture that we took from from the sky Hmm. Well, let's move to a possibly a different place so we can find better area for the pictures and the videos to shoot. Okay, so we're ready again. I think we should go and find another area to fly and uh, get some better videos maybe. Okay, let's go. So, recording video and fly. So here we have less winds and you can see the quadcopter's performance a little bit better all, all together. So far so good. We are in the winds, come back. Speed wise is doing very well for now happy to fly it this way it's good for beginners i believe beginners don't like much speed controls are very good very responsive yaw rate is ample yeah we have statues uh dancing and fighting so we can shoot a clip of these hey come back the wind is pushing me a lot of wind i don't know what kind of video it's shooting ready so one thing we can easily conclude sema x5 sw is not for winds it needs 
calm flying day otherwise you're holding the full forward stick even at high high speed mode and uh, i want to do another flip ready ready for it stop the video first sometimes these cameras when they get impact they stop recording and corrupt the video file so here we go flips are okay but not that powerful every time she just falls to ground not on me hmm so you have seen the flight for SEMA X5SW and now it's time to go home and give it a conclusion